Shout out to black men. Um, there's a link that was sent to me um, in the Patreon. Shout out to the brothers in the Patreon. If you want to join the Patreon, it's the About section on YouTube. The link is there. But um, when uh, when the link was shared, it was shared from, you know, the videos about a, a black man who rented his uh, apartment, you know, a Section 8. He accepted Section 8, and he did her a favor. He wasn't going to accept it. And when he accepted it, well, you know, um, when it was time for her to leave, she trashed his place, like really trashed it. And he was crying. He was crying. And it was just heartbreaking watching it. And that's the reason why I was like, you know what? I'm not even, even, I'm not even going to do that video. It was really hard heartbreaking listening to it because he was crying and I I understand the frustration and I understand the anger um it, it his place was total it was total the, she she purposely broke the windows the doors it, it and it's in it, it and you people could say go ahead and sue them but sue them for what they don't have nothing that's the reason why they have section eight they don't have nothing so he He's basically got to come out of like fifteen, twenty thousand to fix the place back up, and and say he may not have it. You know, he may not have it, and it's just ridiculous. But here you have a Brad who is showing before and after after he rented to Keisha, who was on Section Eight. Listen to watch this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Gotta love it. Look at this. Just look. Look at that. Look at this. This is insane. This is insane. Let's go, man. Let, let's go. This what it looked like before. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grind it off and then I'm actually going to clear coat this. Sealed concrete right there. Right, if you don't know, I am a landlord that does about 90% of my own repairs. And this property right here, we actually just got done rehabbing. So this place was in awful shape. Look at this. Brand new, brand new cabinets. Wow. Wow. All this is brand new flooring. Unbelievable. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> ben! <laughs> they got Ben in there. Y'all remember Michael Jackson? Ben? <laughs> oh no! 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 Else. No. Mouse traps right here, made by Tomcat. If somebody has mice in their unit, I will get on Amazon, order a four pack of these, and have them shipped straight to the tenant's house. That's insane. Ew, look. There are mice everywhere. All the walls are painted in antique white. It's turned out pretty good. Ended up having to replace all this flooring. This is, this is, this is insane. Unfortunately, I a do. Tire, how did a tire get in there? A lot of things instead of replace because 
just gonna get what he's doing is showing you the before and after. Look at this. Again and as a landlord, you have to realize that. So uh, this is this is a. So you just have a leak. You don't report it. You just let it, just let it go like that. It's perfect. <sighs> wow. Okay. And you can see where the mice have just been tearing that apart. I don't think there's any love growing in here. I think there's a lot of nastiness growing in here. Come on, man. So this countertop right here is a painted. The patience. The patience this guy has. The patience. I would have been flipping out. I would have been flipping out. That's thousands upon thousands of dollars of repair. That's thousands upon thousands. Of, that's the reason why they're not doing it anymore. This is the reason why a lot of uh, they're 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 trying to shame uh, section. You know, they're trying to shame landlords into renting their uh, apartments or houses to these Section Eight vouchers. They're trying to shame them into that, telling them you need to do this, you should do that. They even try to have laws where they couldn't reject uh, certain um, certain Section Eight tenants. Uh, based on, you know, if they were a single mother and, you know, they have kids and stuff like that. They try to do that in some states. And it's not holding up. Can you imagine, black men, can you imagine you have a piece of property, you fix it up. It's, it's costing you money to fix it up. You're doing repairs. Even if you're doing it yourself, see that's the thing. People think that if you're doing it yourself, it don't cost nothing. The the materials cost. The materials cost. So you could spend you could spend a couple of thousand dollars on material. Yeah, it's still a couple of thousand dollars. Maybe you didn't spend seven, eight thousand and fix it up, but you still spent a couple of thousands on the material. You fixed up the 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 place. And then you you rent it to somebody, and then you you know they leave and they ruin it. It's it's they just tear it apart. Not their property at all. And then you got rodents. Come on, man. Countertop. Have a video on that. So if you're interested in painting a countertop. Uh definitely an option right there so bath. and my back black man I didn't know this was that disturbing this was my first time seeing a video right along it I would have gave y'all a warning in the beginning of the video I would have gave you a warning I would have gave you a warning I would have said warning <laughs> this video is atrocious like bathroom it is. Poop, poop, poop. <laughs> Bedroom, real quick view. All new doors, new door, so. This is the third bedroom. This is insane, man. Wow, where did you throw all your mail? I just threw it in the closet. This two, is disgusting. So two man. full baths. This grout is kind of in bad shape, but yeah. Toilet. 
Look at all the work he put in this house. He did all this himself. Put the toilet in, the cabinets, the tub, the floor, the top. Look. Look at this. That tub actually had a bullet come through right here, go through here. Yeah, remember with these Section 8 apartments? Remember they said the area, it doesn't matter. Remember that, Keisha? She said doesn't matter. Well, she said something like uh, doesn't matter where you live, it's how you live. Yeah, 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 right, Keisha. Doesn't matter. Bullets is flying right through the windows, right through the door, in the house. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the before picture. It's not the after. This is the before. So he yeah, he he fixed it up, but you know, still there was a there's a bullet hole there. That's insane. That's scary. Where where you live at? You know, I mean, not where he lived, but where is this place at? Where bullets is just flying through the 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 bathroom? Yeah, remember the Keisha. It's not where you live. It's how you live. Right, Keisha, yeah, right. Hit right here and go over there. It's amazing. Wonder, yeah, listen, I, I don't know how he's doing it without flipping out, man. I would throw the whole place away. Four. This is probably the nicest bedroom in the house. And then we have bedroom number five. I think this was like a den area when I bought it, and there was actually a massive wood stove right there. So this has a back furnace That's also, strange. and over there is the thermostat. <laughs> What kind of place is there? You know, a wood stove <laughs> in, in in a room like that? That's, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. New windows on this back wall. We also installed <laughs> new siding on the outside. And then this is a hallway. So this right here is the this wall right here is the original house, three bedroom, one bath. But we did install that floor or that um, door right there. And then we have cleaned all this floor with a Ryobi scrub brush. Still need to run the dryer vent. Also need to get a outlet installed for her dryer because there wasn't one in here, which is really confusing. So, yep. This is insane, man. This is nasty work, man. This is nasty work. Garage. All painted. It's a new roof. Does he have enough to finish? Yeah, barely. I was scraping the cans. Scraping the cans. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is insane, man. This is insane. This is insane. This is nasty, man. This is nasty work. Very nasty work right here. Oh my goodness. Let me let me say this, black man. Let me say this, black man. 
Yeah, this was this was disturbing. I let me tell you something. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting this. So I I apologize if if this if this is affecting you. It's it's bothering me just watching it. I'm sorry. It's bothering me just watching it. I feel dirty just watching this. Right? I didn't know, but. You need to see that because you understand why a lot of these landlords, and what I mean need to see it, it's it's just for information. It's just information to show you exactly why a lot of these landlords are turning it down. I told you plenty of times, landlords, how many videos I made about landlords saying they're not taking any uh, quiches, uh, you know, as far as their Section 8 vouchers, because every time they leave, they got to spend thousands upon thousands of repairs. Now you actually seeing what they're talking about. Now you're seeing what they're talking about. Now you're seeing what they're talking about. This is a Section 8. He, he took a Section 8 voucher. See, the thing with Section 8, right? You got to understand something. When it comes to Section 8, vouchers, the people that are on Section 8, I don't care what you say. There's a character defect there. Anybody that's out there taking handouts, there's always going to be a character flaw. If you out there taking handouts, begging, mooching off the government, you're going to have bad character regardless. People with good character don't accept handouts. I don't care what you say. I don't care. People with good character just don't accept handouts. They rather tough it out until things get right. These people will accept handouts, and not only do they accept handouts, it's generational. They passing down their uh, Section Eight apartments like this, like it's an inheritance. You see, Akisha passed down the Section Eight apartment to their to their daughters, and then then to their granddaughters. You heard this? Keisha says she. She was waiting, you know, for 15 years. You heard Akisha said she'd been on it for 10 years. You heard Akisha said she'd been on Section 8 for 7 years. You straight bums. That's a character flaw. So when you're renting to somebody with a Section 8 voucher, don't expect your place to come back in the shape that you gave it to them. Even though this is a stream. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. This is disgust. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. And and I'm surprised how calm he is. I'm I'm totally disgusted watching this. I'm surprised how calm he is. He's probably boiling. He probably didn't want he probably didn't want to blow up while he was recording. But he's he had to be boiling. He had to be. This is nasty work, man. Very nasty work.